The sands of Tatooine await you, apprentice. I've gleaned much since our interrogation of the Republic agent here on Drolland Kass. I am certain Noman Carr brought this gifted Padawan to Tatooine to train with a legendary master named Yonlock. Years ago, I urged the Dark Council to hunt down and destroy this Jedi. They refused, and Yonlock went into hiding on Tatooine. What should I do with him once I track him down? Yonlock is the one who brought the Padawan's powers into expression. Now they share a special bond. Find him and destroy him. I will bring the old man to his knees. Norman Kerr shelters his prize, so we will draw her out by destroying everything she loves. My servant Sharok Biv will guide you. She is eccentric, an acquired taste, but give her the benefit of the doubt. I'll give her what she needs to do the job at hand. And I'm telling you, what she needs is your tolerance. That is all. The harsh sands of Tatooine welcome you. I am Sharak Reeve. Our Lord and Master Darth Barris bid me to impart my knowledge of this planet, and help you track down the Jedi Master Yanlok. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I will be your compass. You will find Master Yonlock by tracing the path the Padawan and her master took. I can tell you where they started. I followed them to the forbidden lair of the ancient sand demon, a terrible beast. The Padawan left her weapons and entered alone. Impossibly, she returned unscathed. She brought the Force. It is a powerful weapon. I have witnessed the power of the Force, but this goes beyond wonder. The Sand Demon is the fiercest creature on this planet. You don't just walk into its lair and return without a scratch. I investigated further. The beast was there, also undamaged. And what's most perplexing? Its skin was glistening. Somehow, she avoided fighting the demon. That appears to be the only conclusion. What happened in that cave is a mystery, as is where the Padawan and her master went afterwards. There is one man on Tatooine who might be able to explain. Isabeau Jeef. He's as old as the sand. Part madman, part soothsayer. Better not be a waste of time. If anyone can deduce why the Padawan sought the sand demon, it is he. It will not be easy to speak with Jeef. The small farming settlement where he lives has been overrun by exchange thugs. The exchange hates the Empire for running them out of Mos Ela. They will allow me to pass, but they'll attack you on sight. They won't see me coming until it's too late. Then I will meet you at Isabeau Jeef's hut. The world is weeping, and the tears evaporate in the heat of our sin. I think you mean from the heat of our suns, Isabeau. No, child. There is a dark presence, newly arrived on Tatooine. Ah, Sith. You made it. The hostels outside were no match for you, I see. They tried to stop me. They failed. Failure can be contagious, and hard to dispel once contracted. You are the seeker Sharak spoke of. You wish to understand the Jedi's purpose in the lair of the Sand Demon. You see it correctly. My eyes may be aged and failing, but my mind sees. Please, Isabeau, make haste. Tell my friend what you know. I will remain here after to hear your wisdom. Fine. Gather close. Few are aware that Tatooine was once a place of positive force energy. Jedi made pilgrimages here to renew and purify. The Sands speak of a ritual called the Demon's Blood. This is likely what the Jedi that Sharak witnessed was engaged in. Explain this ritual. The Demon's Blood. A Jedi seeking enlightenment would cover himself in fresh Sand Demon blood and enter the village of the Savage Ones. Cowering before the Demon Slayer, 
the savage ones would reveal the path to self-discovery and to that which the Slayer seeks. According to Sharak, the Padawan did not slay the beast. There must be another way to bathe in the beast's blood. But you'll have to discover that for yourself, if you care to. To know where this Jedi girl went, you'll have to perform the ritual yourself, and then see if the Savage Ones speak. It's not much to go on, but it will do. That is everything I have. If everything is not much, then perhaps nothing is everything. Here are the coordinates you will need. After you face the Sand Demon, I will meet you at the Sand People compound. If the legend is true, and the Sand People have something to offer you, I wish to see it with my own eyes. <clears throat> Can we talk for a second? I really don't have a good feeling about this. I'll make you feel better later. Uh, we're about to face a monster that can swallow us whole. I'm thinking, if the Jedi perform the demon blood ritual without a fight, there must be a way we can too. As a favor to me, could we please get through this without mixing it up with the sand demon? I was already planning on doing that. Oh good. That's a relief. Looks like it's showtime. The monster's caught a whiff of us. I'm ready to back you up if it goes badly. Desert monster, I stand my ground. I will not run. Look into my eyes, beast. We are one at peace. The beast has been cowed. Easy prey, no. Yuck! So much blood! If I knew we were gonna literally bathe in it, I would've waited outside. And the smell. Oh, Kag, we're gonna stink for days! What if it never wears off? It will be alright, Fet. I sure hope you're right. I take a lot of pride in my hygiene. So, let's get out of the stink pit, huh? You took the words out of my mouth. Lead the way. I trailed and observed your descent here. I could not believe my eyes. The Sand People all ran from you. What transpired inside the Sand Demon Cave that makes this so? It was an epic battle, and I killed the beast. You have bathed in the demon's blood. Its essence fills the air. Now, Isabeau said that this is where your path will be illuminated. But there doesn't seem to be anything here. Wait! On your guard, Offworlder. One of the Sand People approaches. Enough of this. It didn't even attempt to defend itself. I've never seen one of its kind be so passive. This parchment the sand person brought is remarkable. It is a crude but very clear map of the desert. It marks a door carved into the wall of the Desert Wound Ravine. But I've mapped this ravine, and there is no such door. Tell me anything else important about the area. I can tell you that humans are very low on the food chain there. The ravine marks the farthest I or anyone I know of has dared venture. Here are the coordinates. I will follow stealthed, using the dune shadows. 
Think first of your own safety, and do not follow if it becomes too harrowing. Your concern is appreciated. Darth Barris enlisted my services to be scout and lookout, and I intend to do my job. Head deeper into the desert, and you will find the Desert Wound Ravine. Safe journey. You have lost your way, Dark One. But I have come to correct your course. I am the embodiment of your greatest potential. I am what you could be if you overcame your fear and walked in the light. It's going to be a shame ruining your good looks. By embracing the dark, you are already ruining yourself. If you persist down this path, your life will be consumed by paranoia and fear. The trail will wait around every corner. You will never know whom to trust. I like it that way. But you might like the alternative better. You see, the dark side seeks to subjugate the Force. It treats the Force as an adversary to be used and manipulated. When you embrace the light, you meld with the Force, become part of it. Then true clarity and peace can be achieved. Don't make me laugh. Don't scoff, Dark One. Look at our master. If the Dark is so potent, why is Darth Barriss deathly afraid of a young girl? Noman Kar's Padawan is merely a nascent champion of the Light, and already she strikes fear into the heart of a Dark Side master. That's why I'm going to destroy her. If you refuse the Light, you must strike me down. Do you have it in you to kill part of yourself? I will eradicate all lightness in the galaxy. Come then, take me on. You will discover the light inside you cannot be vanquished. have proven your way is strong and viable. With this victory, our essence has been purified. In the clarity of this communion, a vision of our destiny on Tatooine appears. Can you see it too? An encampment hidden in the farthest reaches of the desert, past a rock formation called the Forbidden Pass. Is this where I will find the Jedi Master Yornlok? There is no doubt this is where the Padawan went. This is where the Great Master helped her powers become expressed. The image fades. Find the Forbidden Pass and confront Master Yornlok beyond it. Our journey on this planet ends there. Farewell. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Did, did you just tell yourself to venture beyond the Forbidden Pass? Tell me everything you know about this place. I am chilled to the bone. 
The desert beyond the Forbidden Pass is an area that no one can survive. No one! Even the Sand People dare not go. You mustn't go! Wet your pants somewhere else. This is not some silly superstition. Those who go beyond the Forbidden Pass are never seen again. I will not. I cannot follow you there. I needn't waste any more time with a coward. How that word burns me. I will return to your spaceport and update Darth Barriss. Master Yunlock, the Sith you've been tracking is upon us. Retreat to safety. I will take the intruder on. No, Yu Li. Control your feelings. Stand at my side. I will face this trespasser. I've been watching you, Sith. In coming here, you have adulterated the journey of enlightenment and made a mockery of the Jedi way. I know why you've come. Master Noman Kar's Padawan threatens you somehow. You seek to flush her into the open and silence her. You've figured it out. I will not allow it. It won't be the cause of her exposure. She came to me for guidance, and the bond we struck was the most profound of my life. We are psychically linked, she and I, and I have already warned her about you. She will not fall for your manipulations. I assure you, I can be very convincing. Your will may be great, but hers is greater, and mine is unrelenting. The disparity in our capabilities is equal to the disparity in our age. You cannot win. Turn away now. I fear no one. This is not an attempt at intimidation. Just a simple statement of fact. In me you face a full Jedi Master, and Yu Li has greater command of lightsaber combat than any Jedi Knight I've trained. Uh, <clears throat> color me nervous. Have we ever faced a full-fledged, card-carrying Jedi Master before? The Jedi have no idea how lethal you are, Vet. I sense that's a bluff, but no matter. Your compatriot's query is moot, as you will be facing us on your own. Well done, Master Yonlock. Now please, retreat and let me face the Sith. Your concern is appreciated, Yu Li. But I did not seize the advantage here to immediately relinquish it. Vet only gets in my way. I sense she is fond of you, despite herself. Bordering on masochism, I should think. If you attack us, she will cry over your body. I hope that comforts you. Now for the last time, will you stand down? I'll be standing on your corpse soon enough. Give no quarter, you leave. We must get the best moment for our Your weapon, Sith! I beg you. You Li, stay your tongue. No. She is just a Padawan. You are a great master. I must bargain for your life. Sith, I'll tell you everything I know, if you spare Master Yunlock. Your devotion is remarkable. I'm sorry, Master Yunlock. But I must do this. Her name is Jaisa Wilson, and Noman Carr has taken her to... Yu Li, you have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. I have no recollection of the Padawan this Sith seeks. Now, sleep.
I do not relish wiping Yuli's mind like that, but his feelings for me got the better of him. Most impressive. It is a terrible thing, a last resort. I had to act for the greater good. Jaysa is special, her power unprecedented. If untouched by the likes of you, she has the potential to lead the Jedi to greatness. I'm going to do much more than touch her. You know Jace's name, but that is all you'll get here. So you may as well kill me. I must find tranquility, so Jace will sense only peace when you strike me down. Your death will wound her deeply. There is no death. Only... the Force. Well, the rumors are true. Being paralyzed is a blast. You put on quite a show. I knew you were good, but, uh... Would you have cried if I died, Vet? Sure. For many reasons. Mostly because I'd be stuck on this overheated eyesore of a planet. So, Sharik said she'd be at the ship. She thought we were done for. Can't wait to see the look on her face. She will be surprised to see us. I'll practice my smug look on the way there. I never expected to see you again. Does this mean you ventured beyond the Forbidden Pass and found Master Yonlock? The mission is complete. This is a great lesson. The only barriers that exist are the ones we create in our minds. I will never again assume that I know all there is to know, and I will explore the entirety of the Tatooine Desert without reservation. You have learned much from this. I hope Lord Barris knows how fortunate he is to have such a fine champion shepherding his cause. I shall never forget you. I'll remember you fondly as well. Safe travels, my lord. If you're ever on Tatooine again, come and see me. Ugh. I hope we never come back to this sandy inferno. It's bad for my complexion. If we never return here, I won't miss it. Glad we're on the same page. You have done admirably, Apprentice. Your time on Tatooine was well spent. Norman Carr's Padawan, Jason Wilson, no longer enjoys anonymity. I am very pleased. We haven't found her yet. This is a lesson I do not need to be taught, youngster. Your handling of Master Yonlock has sent our enemies a clear message. Norman Carr and Jason Wilson now know they cannot hide. It gnaws at the Master and will bring his prized Padawan to her knees. You certainly have a lot riding on that theory, Barris. Oh, don't doubt me. It's not a theory, Apprentice. Only Alderaan remains. Jason Wilson's homeworld. Go there immediately. I will contact you when you arrive.